Tinker and Tom on YouTube again. Uh, got the 94 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Had a lot of loose play in the steering. So what we're gonna do is, I watched some videos. There's, I mean, the guy claims he did the ball joints and stuff. I'm not gonna put a lot of money into this because I'm probably selling it. But I mean, you probably wanna do the front end at least. If it was a car you're going to keep, uh, like the ball joints, control arms, struts, all that stuff first. And then you can go back and try to tighten this up. But I watched some videos and you can get um, some results just from adjusting this adjustment screw right here. I forgot the exact name, so I'm not gonna tell you something I don't know. But basically you can adjust this. And what I did, this is a 5.2. I heard it's a lot easier on the 4.0s. You have more whip, room to work. But all I did was go straight down here with an extension with a T30 Torx bit. Um, and then I just kind of pushed this, I think it's a power steering hose or something right here to the side and just kind of fed it back there. Cause if you try to go in front of it, it doesn't work. And then it's five eighths uh, wrench right here to loosen that jam nut first. Loosen the jam nut, keep this straight while you're loosening it and then you tighten it clockwise just a little bit and then go for a test drive. Um, Maybe like a quarter turn, eighth of turn first. Go for a test drive, see what that did, and then uh, go back. And but if you do it too much, it apparently it'll just bust everything. So if you over tighten this, so at your own discretion. I'm taking a gamble on it, but it did seem to do a little bit just now. Uh, what, did like a maybe a quarter turn, something like that maybe a little less and it gave me a little bit better response. I'm gonna go a little bit more. And uh, that's about it. I don't wanna do too much. So. Let's see. Just take your, show you how you do it. T30 torque fit and somehow I got it to fit with a seven millimeter. There's actually a I stuck it down in there. So, I don't know. You might have a different setup. But I use a seven millimeter and stuck it on the end of one of. Yeah, so my seven millimeter sitting on something like this. Attach that Torx bit so I can reach down there. And then I put some WD-40 or PB Blaster on it first so that it doesn't bind up or anything or seize up. Cause it's old. Take out your air box, it's a lot easier. So I have that one up top in to hold it in place. My wrench or my socket's in the on position. While I loosen, oh, it hurt. Use gloves. Let's bang my hand against the freaking metal. I cut myself like that before. So I use gloves. Don't be like me. Mess up here. Probably gonna fast forward a little bit right here. Just gonna fast forward a little bit right here. It's hard to work right there and show you. But I'm gonna loosen that up. I'm doing pretty good there. I was able to just. Loosen it, slides over that way because it tilts up. Yeah, I think it's loose enough to tighten the It's loose enough to tighten this now. So I'm gonna hold this while I turn this. It's another eighth of a turn, we'll go a little bit more. And stop. I think that's good enough. I don't want to do too much. I was already doing a lot better. Close this up. See, I have now this is in the off position on my extension so that when I turn right on the jam nut, it doesn't move the adjustment. Uh, 
Allen bit thing. So I gotta keep this on the off position. Mine has on off. Off position while I turn that to the right and vice versa when you're trying to uh, loosen. Well, I'm putting it back now, have this off while I turn this one clockwise down here. Got it. See? All right, I'll get back with you when it's tightened all the way. Just nice and snug, don't do crazy over tightening here. I'm gonna go for a test drive. Let's see if I fix this thing enough so where it's not a big safety issue. Because I used to have to like you put a lot of motion into the steering wheel and it's not even turning the vehicle yet. Like a almost like a big boat. Like a, one of those big wooden wheels. So we're gonna fix that. Give you a little bit more confidence of driving and more safety. So you don't like want that. Alright, it's nice and tight here. One more. At least push this out of the way. And you got a straight shot down to that adjustment screw. See what we did. Here. This bad boy back. Here. Hey. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, you picked a cold day. Yeah. <sighs> I can't hold the camera, guys. Anyways, you know what I'm doing. Put this back. I'll figure it out later. I had to set this up. But put this back. Put this back. Put your hose back. And uh, there's little pegs underneath here where it will go down in. We'll get going. I went on a little test drive. And uh, steering's a lot better, man. I actually turn a vehicle and it moves where I want it to go. I'm so excited. A lot better from day one. I think the steering is a lot better now. I'm almost scared to keep messing with it because it's so much an improvement from day one. But uh, yeah, I actually can control the steering now and not be so sketchy, so I do like that. Tinker and Tom on YouTube, please hit subscribe or like on the channel. Uh, this
this thing is for sale. Oh yeah, it runs good too. Four by four. We ain't getting stuck. So we ain't worried. Laredo Grand Cherokee, baby. Peace.